So I need to remove the galvanization on this pipe um, because it's going to be used in that torch and because it's going to heat up and I only really need to remove maybe up to here because this is where the nozzle will be but uh, instead I'm going to remove all of it just because I have this coupler as well and it because uh, I'm making it longer and I couldn't get black iron pipe like I said um, at Home Depot. All they had was galvanized and I just happened to pick this up just so I could get this torch built. So I'm going to get rid of the galvanization and you can use an acid to get rid of it and I've seen some videos that people use uh, muriatic acid uh, which is like a diluted uh, hydrochloric acid but you can also use vinegar and I'm going to use a concentrated one, uh, a solution that's a little bit stronger than just plain vinegar. And all you do is you soak your part in it. Uh, and the thing is, is like this galvanization is inside as well, so I can't just grind it off because um, you don't want to, uh, when you're heating it up, that'll burn out as well. So I can get, remove the excess with some sandpaper, but that doesn't help me on the inside. So that's why I'm going to soak it with, and I've already done it here, and you can tell the difference in color between the old and then the, um, I mean the old and then the new part. So this, this is still galvanized and this isn't. So I'm using this stuff here. It's uh, Scott's Path Clear Weed Killer and basically all this is is acetic acid and uh, it's the same as vinegar except for much concentrated so it's a little stronger so that's why I'm using it. But you can use, just use regular vinegar as well. So all I'm going to do is just cover it in vinegar or I should say cover it with this stuff and let it sit for a day and um, I should be good. So I just wanted to share that on how to remove galvanization uh, if you need to reuse some pipe, uh, galvanized pipe, if you need to weld it or uh, heat it up uh, above a temperature that's, uh, that might cause the zinc to break down and uh, turn into fumes that uh, you shouldn't inhale. So I'll just come back in a day and see what it's like. So I've been letting this soak for, it's been about a day, 24 hours or so. As you can see, it's black. So the galvanized pipe went from a gray, that zinc um, galvanization, now is black. So that basically is uh, caused it to start, I don't know, oxidizing or, I don't know, being removed. And now when I looked at some of these other pipes, this one here, this was, I already started treating it. It's not black anymore, but this is really starting to turn. A lot of it's actually flaking off in the actual solution of vinegar or acetic acid. So I'm just going to take these out and I'm just going to give them a rub and get rid of the uh, excess with some maybe steel wool. And uh, I might even give these a coat of paint to keep them from, uh, from rusting. But uh, that's how you remove galvanization with just good old acetic acid aka vinegar. So you just need to soak it a little longer than you would than, uh, with a stronger uh, solution of acid like uh, muriatic acid. So, oh, I guess I didn't show like when I rub it. See this pipe here? It's gray. Start rubbing this. It just falls right off. So some of it's actually in the solution but this stuff just peels right off.